What's up guys, today we're going to be going over how I made that ArcViz kitchen scene in Unreal Engine 5 um, using basically nothing but starter content and um, the twin motion content library. The first thing I recommend for anybody to do when you have an idea of a project that you want to create is to compile a bunch of images from, I, you know, I'd say like Pinterest or something and create a mood board. This is called Pure Ref. This is how I create my mood boards and it stays on your desktop labeled as something like this whatever whatever you want it to be named anyway but um, this is a kitchen scene i had in mind i wanted to do a modern kitchen so i searched for a bunch of pictures of modern ki uh, kitchens i have a general idea of where i want to go based off of these pictures and that's how we get to our our final result once you've created your project it should bring you to a space like this we're not going to use this screen um, before actually we get into that, let's go up to our project settings and make sure that we have all of our settings correct. Really all we're looking for is Lumen. We're gonna make sure we have Lumen and night, uh, lighting enabled. So we're gonna come down here to dynamic global illumination method, make sure that it's set to Lumen. You're gonna go to your reflection method, also make sure it's set to Lumen. And then everything else you can basically leave the same in that section. And then you're gonna come down here to shadows, make sure that you enable virtual shadow maps in beta. Now, once you're in Unreal Engine 5, you're going to go to File and create a new level, and you're just going to go to Empty Level here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the starter content, and I'm going to also use some Twin Motion assets from the content uh, Twin Motion content library that's available for free on Unreal Engine Marketplace. There will be a link in the description below. But I'm going to use the starter content to make out the floor and the walls. All right, now that you've got your walls all made out and your floor, um, and I also put a window in here again just for reference. I'm probably going to have my camera somewhere around here. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a light in here. Now that I have a light in here, of course, because I need to be able to see what I'm doing, I like to take just a cube from here and I like to sort of map out where I'm going to have my assets just using this cube. So now that I've kind of laid out where I believe my assets will be and what my scene will look like when it's done, I'm now ready to go ahead and add textures to the scene. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to texture the walls and I'm going to just put a basic drywall texture on there that I got from the Quixel content. All right, now my drywall's on and I'm going to go ahead and texture the floors. All right, just a simple drag and drop and their floors are in there. Um, I'm going to put a cinema camera actor here now. All right, now that you got your camera in there, you think it's in a pretty good position, um, it's now time to import the remaining assets. So now that we have most of our key components in the scene, obviously I didn't change the color of the wood on this. Again, I told you I didn't use it in the original, so it's not modified. Um, I don't think I'm gonna change it for now. I'm gonna leave it as is, but we've got most of our assets in our scene and we're ready to move on to lighting. Now to light our scene, we're gonna bring in our basic lights, which is a directional light for the sun, skylight for the skylight and sky atmosphere for the uh, blue on the outside we can go ahead and remove our point light now um, obviously we have to bring the roof down but you can kind of see now we have a better visual image of what things will look like when you know when they're almost done so obviously this isn't how the final lighting looked when the scene was actually done uh, but I just, again, I'm not really going too far into detail on this video. I just wanted to give you a general guideline on how I did it and how I got to the final result. Um, the last thing I think that is important to mention is going to be an exponential height fog. That's how I, you, do, you see this black out here, you can actually get rid of that by using an exponential height fog. Um, and see it disappears. The only thing is it kind of creates a minor fog inside of the apartment as well. So you see it creates that blue uh, tint. 
you could just lower this height fog so that it you don't see it outside but it goes away from inside i found somewhere around like 0 0.004 is a good place to be and that is pretty much it for the most part i just wanted to give you guys a really brief rundown of how that was made maybe it'll help some of you uh, maybe some of you can replicate it and make something of your own i left a lot of creative control into your hands by not really showing you all of the different small assets that i used i can definitely cover that in a later video if you guys really wanted me to but as of right now this is how i got that final image if you guys did enjoy this video if it helped you out in any way shape or form please like comment and subscribe if there's anything you want me to address about this project in particular or about any future projects please leave a comment below thanks so much for watching Peace.